Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this channel is primarily about STEM. Of course, I post a lot of engineering things because I myself am an engineer slash scientist. So because this channel is about STEM, I wanted to give a little introduction to what STEM is. What is STEM? Well, STEM, first of all, is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So we have a good understanding about what technology is, mathematics and engineering. We can sort of group those into boxes. But what is science? And this is the question that I wanted to address today. Because to some people like me, I would consider engineering a science. And why isn't technology or IT considered a science? And why isn't math considered a science? Why are these things grouped separately? And I feel like I'm fully qualified to answer this question because I actually took a philosophy class answering the question, what is science? So it is not actually as straightforward as you believe. For example, I believe I'm a scientist and I'm an engineer. My friend, she's a nurse, but in Canada, nursing is actually a bachelor's of science. So she considers herself a scientist and she's a nurse. I know, your mind is being blown right now. So most people will describe science or define science as anything that follows a scientific method. So the scientific method is, you know, asking a question, building a hypothesis off, off of the question. So some sort of hypothesis that could be proven or disproven via experimentation and then conducting the experimentation and refining the hypothesis and this sort of process is called science so clearly if we're looking at engineering and building a bridge if you're not really building a hypothesis or trying to disprove a hypothesis then engineering wouldn't be considered a science so this idea of having a, hypo a hypothesis that needed to be falsified is called falsifiability so for example Einstein used falsifiability to confirm his theory of general relativity he made a bold statement about the future he said that stars with apparent positions near the Sun should become apparent during a solar eclipse due to the bending of light caused by the gravity of the sun. And in 1919, he was able to test this theory during the May solar eclipse. And if he was wrong, his theory would be disproven. This is one idea of science that you come up with a theory or a hypothesis and you try to disprove it. So the other example was Freud. Freud was a pseudoscientist. For example, he would come up with scientific explanations for, I don't know, why you were depressed as a kid or something. It has something to do with your mom and your dad, whether they loved you or not. Or you were in love with your mom or your dad or something like this and every problem that you had in the present he would say oh it's because of the relationship with your mom and your dad from description of falsifiability engineering would not be considered a science and I guess tech either like software engineering also mathematics I guess wouldn't be considered a science either but this is just one theory of science another theory is Hoenigen Huhn's theory of systematicity so Hoenigen Huhn said that as long as what you are doing is more systematic than general knowledge, it's considered science. So we're not going to compare, for example, string theory to political science. You have to compare the two within their own domain. So for example, if I was just to build a bridge and I went off of nothing, I didn't do any calculations or whatever, and I just went and I tried to build a bridge, that wouldn't be science. But if I followed some sort of a protocol where I did the calculations and I set up an FEM analysis in ANSYS, for example, and I spoke to other engineers and we followed a systematic process for building a bridge, then that would be considered science. So therefore, I'm considered a scientist. Hello. So what is STEM? STEM is this overall umbrella of science plus engineering plus technology plus math. So that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. I just wanted to make a little video explaining what STEM is because this channel is all about STEM, the overall umbrella. And I know there's a lot of engineering focus and that is because I myself am an engineer. Don't worry, I'm still gonna do the Ask an Engineer show and there's gonna be a lot of focus on engineering, but it's also inclusive to all of the STEM disciplines. So thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, then please leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna see more, then please subscribe.